Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to build this, this IKEA chair, which I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of. Uh, if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. So the first thing you want to do is take this core piece, is what I'm going to call it, and get the five screws that come with it. Yeah, it's actually inside the actual core piece. So take those five screws and notice that this side is bigger than the other. So you want to put the screws through the bigger side. Um, take the, the leg pieces, put those, put those in there. And then go ahead and put the five screws, you know, in all five sides. Let's go and drill those in. Do it for all five sides. All right, tighten those up. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't have any wiggle room, so make make sure they're tight. And then go ahead and take the five uh, wheels and just push those straight in. There you go, so there's the, the five total. And the next thing you wanna do is take the, I'm gonna call this like the the gas piston type thing, take the cap off, and then basically all you wanna do is just put it straight down into the the hole there, and it'll, it'll stop itself. And then let's work on the backing now. So notice that there is a, a little button on there, so it was already off when I, when I, you know, when I got it, so just unzip this. Uh, take the Velcro off or else it won't unzip very easily. Let's open that up. And the reason we're doing this is because there's two pipes in there and this is going to be the support that you're going to connect to the uh, seat piece. So take those two pieces there, insert those into the correct spot, and then it's these two screws that you want to use to tighten them to the actual backing of the chair. So screw those in and then go ahead and tighten them. Then once you do that, then go ahead and zip up the backing and put the uh, Velcro back on. So there you go, so I'm showing you the, you wanna put the Velcro back in, and I think the reason why they have it Velcro is if you want to uh, clean it. So go ahead and zip that all the way up, make sure you button that piece back up And then next piece is to get these two screws. And these are what you're gonna, it's gonna be part of what you're gonna connect the backing to the, the seat bottom. So now the seat bottom is in the picture. Take those two screws and screw those in. Don't make these ones tight though. Um, you wanna make them loose because you're gonna need the flexibility for later. So there you go, I'm just showing you, make sure it's not tight. Then you wanna take four of these screws and this is gonna be more support for the, the backing, you know, the backing and the, the seat bottom. So go ahead and put all four of those in there, two on each uh, handle or two on each bar. So screw those in, go ahead and make those tight. And then you can tighten the other two that we, I was just talking about to keep loose. Um, like I said, cause you're gonna need flexibility to get the other two in. So make these two tight, and then go ahead and put the last piece on, which is the, the seat adjuster. So you wanna use the same the, those same screws, there's four more of them. Put those in, and then go ahead and screw those all the way in, make them tight. And then go ahead and just Velcro that back, you know, back up. And then basically just take this whole seat part, and you wanna just put it straight down on the the gas piston, and that's basically it. So there you go. See how the seat works, adjusts up and down. So if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.